What's up, everybody? Welcome back. We're doing another vintage cube draft here on the internet. Oh, we got we got a tinker and a treachery, both of which are very, very exciting. Which is it going to be, though? Tinker or treachery? Tinker or treachery? Tinker or treachery? Tinker. All right, we're gonna tinker. Tretch Magetch. That's a good one. I'll take the tinker. And I hope we don't make a big fat mistake. All right. Well, nothing great in here. No Taylor. Taylor. Might just be a revoker, even though revoker's terrible. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, revoker's just like. Revoker will come back. I don't know what won't come back. What up, Kermit the Frog? Might just be Tireless Tracker. Or Oblivion Ring. I do like blue-white. But I'll take Oblivion Ring. Oh, Batter Skull. Oh, a Karn. A Sneak Attack, too. Okay. That's an early Sneak Attack that we can ideally build around. I'm going to take Sneak Attack. I like a Boros Signet. That lets us play all of these. All right. All right. Speak my language. Slick shades, Mike. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's good stuff. Oh, wow, I was going to plan to see Star Wars today or tomorrow. Come to find out, uh, The Rise of Skywalker does not release in Korea until next month. Wow. Well, that's something right there. I like Worm Coil here because we can both search for it with Tinker and we can sneak attack it in for profit. Massacre Horm is a sneaky boy. It's a black card, though. Hmm. Wrath of God is interesting. What if that Nahiri comes back? Then we're just like black, white, or red. What if we're just red, white? Oh, well, look who it is. It's Mean Mugger. Wish Claw is an artifact, but like it's a black artifact, so. I, I'm just going to take the Wrath of God. I have no idea if that's even going to be a card we want to play. Inferno Titan, Elspeth, and Sun Titan. I think we're just, like, taking the Elspeth here. Council's Judgment is great. Let's take that. That seems like an easy choice. Huh, Angel of Sanctions. Always very, very good. Surprisingly so. Thank you! 
Yeah, but Abba too. Thank you for the gifted sub. Really appreciate it. I'm gonna take Angel of Sanctions. Needle Spires goes well. Batter Skull. That's actually pretty good if we end up getting a uh, Stoneforge Mystic. Thundermile Hellkite's alright. We can also take Dragonlord Tarka and probably try to sneak attack it into play, or we can just hope to hit like a green fixing. <sighs> I think Thundermile's probably just better. It's just a safer pick. I can just cast it. Franconic Disciple, have a good night, buddy. I like Glorybringer more than I like Thunder My Hellkite. I could probably see playing both, but. Eh, whatever. Abbot of Carol Keep, not great, but we'll take it. Um, This pack's not impressive. I mean, channel's good. If we had a. Uh, any sort of any sort of green things. Sulfuric Vortex, not really what we're looking for. Flame Slash, I guess, is fine. Contam Priest is actually pretty bad against us. Uh, I think we're just taking Flame Slash first pick, and that feels pretty bad. We can also take Moat and just rely on Flyers like Thunder My Hellkite or Glorybringer or Angel of Sanctions. Feels bad. Kozilek seems good. Kozilek is a sneaky boy. Yeah, that seems fine. I mean, Lightning Bolt's great, but I'm going to take the Kozilek. of Abandon, still pretty impressive. I think it's probably better than Seasoned or Brightling. Fire Blast? Is Fire Blast any good? <laughs> this can hit Council's Judgment, which is pretty cool. Uh, there's no Stip.
I think we're just gonna take Goblin Dark Dwellers. Oh, a Johnny seems great. Oh, yeah, I like that. Also, Jitte is an option. Skull Clamp is actually... We have Elspeth. Yeah, let's take Skull Clamp. We can make some creatures here. I don't know if it's going to be great, but... It's a thing, I guess. Firebolt. And Marsh Flats can be fine. If we end up hitting uh, Plateau or, or, or uh, Sacred Foundry. I guess it's just Gideon, even though we have a bunch of 5 drops already. It's not Hellrider. It's not Duretti. Container Priest is fine. Oh, also we could have taken uh, Ashen Rider. Goblin Guide. Blood Crypt also lets us uh it lets us splash, but it also I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Sword of Body and Mind in hopes that we get uh Stoneforge Mystic. Brightling and Pyromancer came back. Also Battle Sphere. Pyromancer, I, I erred away from Pyromancer because it's double red, and it doesn't look like we're super heavy red just yet, but. All right, Fiery Confluence. I do like Solemn Simulacrum here. It's sad when you're taking Solemn Simulacrum first pick, but... Whatever. Stoneforge is going to be coming. We're going to have Stoneforge soon. <sighs> Thran Dynamo. I mean, it lets us kind of ramp towards these things. It's not Zergo. It's not any of these lands. I hate looting. I don't think looting's great. It's just not an exciting card for me. I don't know. Paralyze. Like, unless you're deliberately putting things... You want things in the graveyard. Like, I think it's just not great. I'll take Thran Dynamo. That's what we're looking for. We have Batter Skull, Sword of Body Mind, and Skull Clamp. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Alesh Norn, Gideon, Rekindling Phoenix. Nerds, have a good night, buddy.
Thank you. Tireless Tractor, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. I don't know. It's probably Gideon here. I like Chandra too. I like Embrace Shieldbreaker just as a way to deal with artifacts which are prevalent in this cube. I'll just take the Chandra. I think Chandra is just great, but we're getting a lot of four drops. Oh, inspiring vantage. That seems good. <coughs> I also don't just hate tithe taker as like an early guy. I kind of want more fixing though. Yeah, we'll take inspiring vantage. Gideon? Yeah, I'll take a Gideon. All right, this is our 23 as of now. Scrubland is not, oh, it's not, it's actually not, it's not great. We have no black cards either, so that's sad. Um, that's frustrating. Um, I'll just take Day of Judgment number two, I guess. Selfless Spirit seems fine. Not impressive, but fine, I guess. Make some more creature cards in your graveyard? Yeah, that's not going to be great. Actually, Muta Vault seems fine in a two-color deck. Mortars could be good. I feel like I'm dying, guys. Excuse me. Why didn't we take Angel Invention? Because we already have way too many five drops. Like, I mean, I, I, I'm not like missing out on any five drops here. And like, I'd rather have a second day of judgment effect just in case. <sighs> oh man, Rekindling Phoenix is great. Is it better than any of these? Probably not, but it's still very, very good. I don't think we want Sweltering Suns just because we do have the, you know, aforementioned double day of judgment. I think Lightning Greaves are a little bit stronger in a vacuum than Porcelain Legionnaire. We have one cut to make. We have Stoneforge Mystic. It's pretty good. Um, hmm. Hmm. 
It might just be Wrath of God initially, and then we can just board it in if we need it. It's 5, 9. Probably 6, 8, 8, 9, 10. This is 10, 8. Yeah, that seems fine. We have way more. Uh... <coughs> I like Thrain because it ramps us into like Mere Battle Sphere and it helps us actually get Kozilek at some point. Like if we can hit 7 lands or a Boros Sigmund in 6 lands. Plus we can play it on turn three with the Boros Signet, which is super nice. What temperature is it outside? It's actually pretty chilly. Like I'm feeling it in here. It is currently 52 degrees. Yeah, we'll keep this hand for sure. <coughs> I'm actually tempted to go run and see what the temperature is in the house. Because I turned the heat off. And I might need to just kick it on real quick. Yeah, give me one second. I'm going to go do that. I'm going to pause it on my turn, though. Yeah, it was about 70 in here. Which is colder than... We keep it on 74, so... Oh, yeah. <coughs> yep, I hit as high as six, so I'm good to go. I'm just going to pass here because we can batter Skull. Bulamog, what's going on? Moat, huh? Okay. I'll name Moat. Oh, I didn't have to. Jace the Mind Sculptor. Bounce my germ. And they did. <clears throat> Unfortunately, we didn't hit a land. I'm tempted to just Gideon and... Make an emblem. I mean, just getting Jace off the board now is pretty strong, so that's really what I'm going for. We're basically trading a Jace for a... <coughs> for a Gideon. <coughs> I 
Cause I've got heartache by the numbers. Gonna attack for two. <clears throat> Send me home again. Really? You're just taking it with a Vazavith on board? Well, that's fascinating. All right, let's try this again. So, I should be good now. Sacrifice all creatures you control. Click done to sacrifice your creatures. Okay. They are gone. Yeah, let's use that ability. Look at that, we got a free card afterward. So we have three cards and we have like a thousand. Can we dynamo here? Can we giddy in here? Uh, it says I have zero viewers, but it does say I'm live and I'm recording, so I have no idea what's going on. Hopefully we're still recording. <clears throat> Hopefully we're still live. I don't know what's going on. One, two, three, four, five. Let's equip this dude. Oh, I guess we're, uh, okay. I guess we're, he's just going to bounce it, so that's unfortunate. But What can you? Go back home, Gideon. Yep, this is a disenchant into what's probably going to be something like a rather good. I've got Gideon by the numbers. Scoot do 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 do. Put the lifelink on this guy, and then we'll give this one lifelink too. I don't think there's a settle the wreckage in this cube. <clears throat> Okay. So you just take five. They haven't countered anything yet, so I don't know if this is getting countered. It's not. Create some boys. <clears throat> <clears throat> I 
this getting him worked out pretty well with Elspeth, so. We also have 11 mana, so we can cast anything we draw. Which means we will likely draw a land. Hmm. Well. I mean, we have a Gideon on board, though. Oh, they're going after Hellspeth? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, Rick. Okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. Um, I don't think Container Priest is... I mean, Container Priest actually shuts down Brazen Bar, right? That's kind of funny. Um, I don't think we saw anything else, though. Relic Order, we did see <clears throat> Control Magic. Basalt Monolith as well. Of course, they just get it back when they... Wrath of God, but I guess they if it's Control Magic, they're not going to have anything to hit anyway. Selfless Spirit seems decent here. And take out Winds of Abandon. We already have a Blimmer in Council of Judgment. Flame Slash didn't seem wonderful against them. Rekid only finish actually seems pretty good here. Yeah, alright. <coughs> mm, I don't love it, but their deck isn't very quick. I'm gonna keep it. We're on the draw. And they went to six? Oh man, they're basically dead. <coughs> Yeah, Flame Slash might be better than Mortars, but... I mean, the one mana, like... Could make a difference, but then, like, the, the Overload could also make a difference at some point, too, so... Hmm. I might just get rid of that. I don't really love their, uh... Ability to drop something for seven mana next turn. <clears throat> And if we can hit a land, it's actually pretty great. Oh. God, we're so good at this game. Oh, Johnny's rough because, like, it doesn't... Their land isn't tapped. Let's just play Gideon here. Oh, the first counter spell. Nothing, huh? Let's try again. <laughs> oh, all right. Create a dude. Play a land. Oh, nothing? Wow. Man, I was just kidding when I said they milled the six. They can't win. <clears throat> One, two, three, four. Play Chandra. Have three left over. We can drop a sword. Swords and plowshares? Okay. Disenchant? Wow, what is happening? I mean, we still have Chandra in it. And a 2-2 on board. It's basically... Where is it unbeatable? Okay, we don't have the 2-2 anymore. God, they're just one by one. They're just killing all our things. Hmm... 
<coughs> All right, well, they've been missing lander up, so let's see if uh, they can survive on three. And if they get if they get a fourth land next turn, like they haven't been able to play things on four anyway, so brazen borrower bounce a thing. Nothing. Okay. Well. Thran Dynamo. So we make two, three, four for Thran Dynamo. So we can actually go Thran Dynamo into Gideon Jura. Which seems good. And then Chandra's also at 7, so... That's a thing. Red White Super Friends, activate! <clears throat> okay. Well... I feel like we're ahead. I'm not sure. I don't know. It's hard to sell. It's hard to sell. Tell and say. It's hard. Oh, here we go. Here's the Brazen Borrower. They're like, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait till she's at seven. <clears throat> Cycle. Makes sense. Makes sense. Do we think they have another condemn? Uh, let's go one, two, three, four, five. Chandra. <clears throat> one, two. Gideon. Uh, zero this Gideon. Make this a thing. Make you life linky. <clears throat> We're playing mono giddy control here, so uh no. We will not cast mere battle sphere. Alright. <clears throat> All right, I think we won. Magic's hard. When you finish Racism Simulator 2013, I would love to see you try a Stealth Run of Dishonored 2. Um, <clears throat> Chad, I'd actually love to play Dishonored uh, 2. I, I, I played through Dion Dishonored 1 on stream. Um, Mike would probably have to play through Dishonored 1 because Mike has been playing the games with me. I mean, I guess I could play it on my own, but like... I still have yet to play Dishonored 2. Yeah, I'll keep this hand. And it's definitely in... Um, my list any plans to get back to out not really like there's just too many games to play like i feel like i played outer worlds i loved it i beat it there's a lot of things i'd like to change and do differently because obviously that's a game that allows that but uh, for fudge sake <clears throat> i guess we're taking five Do a Skyrim one where you only use a fork. I'm trying to play through these games and enjoy them, and you guys are like, do this meme run. Can can you meme? Let's see how hard you can meme when you play Skyrim. Yeah. <clears throat> 
meme rim. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, so I like killing Doretti. Unfortunately, we can't kill the Hangerback Walker, otherwise, they suddenly have blockers for Doretti. To save Doretti. Yeah, we're just still gonna glory bring and kill the Doretti. I love that. <laughs> you know what? There's there's times to begrudge the fact that Mitra's Workshop can't activate artifact abilities, but then there's sometimes I'm like, thank goodness, that's that's fair. Tutor. <clears throat> well, unless they get an artifact, they have one mana to spend. It's 12 degrees there? Jesus. Dude, it was 70. It's 55 outside, and in, inside the house it was 70 degrees, and I'm like, too cold. I gotta put the heat on. It's gotta be up to 72. And it's not even that the house is that much cooler at 72. It's, it's, it's that while it's going from 70 to 72, the heat is on, so you get substantially warmer air then 72 during that time while the, the while it's trying to cool the house <clears throat> and i'm here for it oh that was good is that what you is that what you got three four five six all right warm coil that's a good one if it is don't do it you're a bad man oh it's a walking blister for three it is a torrential gear hulk with no targets at sorcery speed Fascinating. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> One, two, three. Oh. Oh. Alternatively, we could play Mountain Thran Dynamo and equipped, but I'm going to play the Needle Spires here. Oh. I feel like we win this race now. <laughs> Oh boy. I would I would be surprised if they had Eldrazi in their deck because then they like they can't cast it with Mitra's workshop or a Telerian Academy. Oh, I guess they can you can cast it with an academy, but you can't <clears throat> really do anything. Whew. Wow, that was something. Oh man, sort of body mind. That's a card, my dudes. Dark Confidant? Six. Four. Four. Uh Worm Coil six. Yikes. Guess we're gambling here. <clears throat> Return an artifact from your graveyard to the battlefield. Yep, that seems good. And you get two little bros. Well, that's unfortunate. Three little bros. Oh, no attack, huh? Okay. Well, that's not ideal. Do you give trample? No? Okay. Well, that's too bad. This guy. One, two, three, one, two. Black Blade. Well, this guy's going to be problematic. <clears throat> let's make you Vigilant? Yeah, let's give Vigilance. And eh, we're wasting mana, that's fine. And we'll attack and exert. Yeah, you got it. 
Let's attack and exert to ready. Kill one of the flyers. <clears throat> I mean, unfortunately, this Gideon's likely going to die. Man, I felt like that was real good. Then they had a Doretti and they could get rid of their... <sighs> their Hangerback Walker to not only make blockers, but to get a Worm Coil, which we put in the graveyard due to Sword of Body and Mind. And Cube is a hell of a format. Trinket Mage. We can Soul Ring. <clears throat> Bet you got a Soul Ring to go with your workshop and your academy. Or a Skull Clamp. Ooh, those would be both be bad. Well, Soul Ring I don't care about. Skull Clamp is frustrating. Especially with your Construct. Or they could have... Oh, that's a good one. What do you got? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six mana, so you can do it for three. And then you can shoot my wolf and then kill me. No, I guess we got a blocker. Yeah, we can block here, take six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. <clears throat> I don't love it. Why'd you tap everything? Oh, wait. Was this untapped? Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. This might be worse than I thought. Oh, four. Okay. Yep. Yep. All right, let's see what happens. They're probably not attacking with Thopter. Just Worm Coil at Gideon. Oh, that guy too, huh? No, just that guy. <clears throat> Pretty sure I'm just going to let you have that. Dragon Senpai, thanks for the bits, buddy. Seems good. Seems good. Um... Not, not ideal. Well, we can attack Doretti or we can attack our opponent. Attacking Doretti doesn't do much. I guess we just attack our opponent. I really wish they attack with Torrential Gear Hulk. Attack your face and exert. This is rough, but <clears throat> it's what you gotta do. I guess we're also giving them a bunch of options for Doretti, but I don't for I don't foresee us winning. Uh Tanglewire and Mana Crypt were the only real deals. Like we have a bunch of blockers. We have one, two, three blockers, play land. Um how much mana? Wait, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they can add two counters to this. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. <clears throat> oh, they're just going to trade their walking bliss in. That's fine. Okay. Because now we have two lands that can actually do stuff. Mox. What can you get? You can't get Hangerback, can't get Walking Ballista. You can get Oblivion Stone and just blow everything up, but that doesn't seem great. Uh, David, I will be actually in Denver on Saturday. I leave until next Thursday, so we'll, if we get if we can do it when I get back, that would be great. They have three cards in their deck. I feel like we navigated this game decently well, but...
They have three cards in their library. And one card in hand. Okay, Lava Claw reaches. Are they just going to activate everything? <clears throat> so they can actually, they can pump this guy for a bunch if they wanted to. Discard Inferno Titan. Why? One, two, three, four. Why wouldn't they just play Inferno Titan? What? Four mana. Need a vault. What? What is going on here? Will you be guesting on the bandwagon? No, I don't think so. Let's activate a Mutavolt. Boop. Let's activate a Needle Spire. And block you. And <clears throat> probably block you. And 5, 6, 7 will take 9. Um... Oh wow, we just win the game. That's weird because they had a blocker for this guy, but we could have actually equipped like if we draw any removal spell, batter skulls decent. I don't think it would have done it though. Wow, that was insane. I don't think we should have won that game. I don't think I don't think we should have won that game. <clears throat> I think we're definitely bringing in a Wrath of God. Mizzy Mortars and Winds of Abandon. Both of our 6 mana overload Wrath of Gods seems good. Uh, Flame Slash, probably less impressive. Thunder My Hellkite does seem good. That's true. Maybe we take out, like, the Sneak Attack Kozilek package. I mean, Relic Order seems fine. I don't know how much removal we saw. Like, I don't think we saw that much removal. But Relic Order, like, hits lots of things. <clears throat> this hand seems good. I will keep this. Pretty decent turn three. <clears throat> Where are you spending Christmas? I will be spending Christmas in Denver. Huh. I mean, that's a good one. Thankfully, again, though, you cannot use that to activate artifacts, so we can easily, we can just Chandra's, uh, not Chandra, Council's Judgment, that guy. They didn't do anything. We have four mana. And if we play Chandra, I guess they can just go attack. Shoot it for two, goes to one. Could just play Thran Dynamo and play Worm Coil next turn. Like, that seems pretty safe. Like... We could also just play a Johnny Vengeance and keep this guy tapped down. I kind of like that, actually. Let's do that. Because now they can't shoot a Johnny. They can't attack us. Yeah, that seems good. So, uh, as far as non... <clears throat> no, I was going to say as far as non-artifacts go. They oh, yes! We're Council's judgmenting that dude into oblivion, my dudes. 
All right, so can we go one, two, three, four? No. So what we can do is go one, two, three, judgment, get rid of worm daddy, keep this dude under lockdown, play stone forge, get a batter scale. I mean, alternatively, we could just get sort of body and mind, which might actually have a bigger impact. Especially because we have a worm coil and a stone forge already. And then we can just play uh, one, two, three, four, Thran Dynamo. We can't do both. If we hit a land, we can. One, two, three, four. Just Batter Skull, right? It's got to be Batter Skull. And I feel like this Misha's Workshop's kind of messing them up a little bit. Well, I guess not. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. That's pretty good. It does turn off your Talarian Academy, though. And then we get to Windmill Slam of Chandra. So, not terrible. Yeah, now they're like, do I do it? No, okay. <sighs> okay, so if we actually shoot this, they respond by killing this. In response, we can put Batter Skull into play, and they can respond after this resolves by blowing Oblivion Stone. That seems bad. I guess we're just passing here. <clears throat> Alright, so they get to keep their walking ballista now. So now I think we should have shot the walking ballista. But... Here we go. Destroy each non impermanent without a fate counter. Yeah, there's nothing we can really do about that, unfortunately. So now Chandra goes down to three, but they can't activate Lava Claw Reaches, and their Talarian Academy is a blank, so now they have four actual mana in Amitra's Workshop, so. That seems fine. Next turn we have six, so we can play Warm Coil if Chandra survives. <clears throat> Duretti. Okay, that seems fine. Torrential Girlhawk and Dark Confidant. What is, I don't understand this Dark Confidant in the, in the deck. It seems like the most dangerous thing ever. Like, they could have played it here. <laughs> they could have just played Dark Confidant. Oh, I think they tried to just play a spell, but they're like, oh, Talarian Academy doesn't actually add mana, so they're going to have to use Mox. I hope they don't try to exile an artifact with Chrome Mox, because you can't do that. Or a multicolor card. Okay, a Duress. Sure. So now they can add five mana. Oh, they didn't. They didn't. Fascinating. So we can just go one, two, three, four for this. Three, four, five, six, one. Let's go add two. <clears throat> three, four, Thran Dynamo. Thran Dynamo. All right. 
that was weird that you would play Chrome Mox there. There was no rush, like you could just wait. <laughs> OP likes to live on the edge. Op? Opponent? <laughs> what do you what do you call these things? What do you call this person? <clears throat> Yep, P and Gernalar. You can also Doretti sack a Thopter to Torrential Gear Hulk. Nope. Hmm. That's interesting. They have no other red sources. Let's X all the top cards, see what it is. Oh my goodness gracious, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that's a good hit. <laughs> so long, Thopters. Oh boy. Ooh, you got a family. Uh, attack Doretti, attack your face. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, that's a hit. I'm actually just going to play this and get rid of their Chrome Mox, because even if they get it back, like, they... It shuts off their Talarian Academy. It gives them nothing to sacrifice to Doretti, and uh, if they get it back, they can't make mana with it, so... They also can't activate their Lava Claw Reaches without it, so... Pretty much a, uh... Trifecta of usefulness. <clears throat> Mitra's factory. Fascinating. You're getting back O Stone. That is a good one. I mean, we get warm coil tokens. That was a solid play. Oh, interesting. One, two, three, four, five. Why didn't they? Oh, because they can't activate it because of the workshop. Wow, workshop rules again. That's insane, dude. This is why I hate workshop. I think workshop's super strong and constructive, but you can navigate your deck uh, with all artifacts and play no instants and sorceries or no non-artifact spells. But in cube, I just think it's not great. Like, you're going to play it on turn one. You're going to play like a three drop. Oh, cool, I'll play Signet. And then on turn two, you literally only have one land in play. And a signet, so it's basically like you had two lands in play. I just don't really love Misha's workshop in cube. Uh, snap keep. Get rid of Mirror Battle Sphere. <clears throat> oh, that's so nice. How rewarding. <clears throat> We're playing as Hipster MD. Hipster Doctor. Oh, man. I really dislike a Johnny when, like, all their lands are untapped. Nah, he's still good. He's just getting count not countered. Okay. Tap this guy down. <clears throat> he didn't he didn't do anything. Do they attack with Creeping Tar Pit? They do not. I guess we should have actually... <clears throat> if they have a counter spell here, we should have actually played... 
this first because now they can just be like I'll use these instead oh they did not okay well this is something now they're creeping tarpet can't even attack a Johnny The thing is, you don't need, you'll need one like one artifact to make Talarian Academy just a, just an island, which is fine. But like Workshop, I feel like you're gonna get like <clears throat> it's like a Lotus that can only be used to cast artifacts, and it also takes up one of your land drops. <clears throat> so I don't know. It's fine. Like it's a fine card, right? Like. All right, Ancestral Recall is going to the graveyard. Put two cards into their graveyard. Ancestral goes in the graveyard. Eh, Manamorphose can go in the graveyard. So we know they have Library and Ritual in hand. Well, it's scary, but it's only five mana, he said confidently. Oh, that's more mana. Turnabout. Okay. None floating. So you net one. Let's see if you can go off. Is it storm count three right now? Turnabout, pyrex ritual, lines I damage. Sure. Here comes Yogmoss willing to kill us, right? Dark petition. Go get Yogmoss will. Crack. Lion's Eye Diamond with a will on the stack. Oh, look. It's like we've played this game before. They're determining what color to get. <clears throat> They're going to decide on red. Yep, okay. Because you have Pyretic Ritual, so that's all you need is... Oh boy. <clears throat> this is a thing, huh? Just kind of waiting around. For 12? Hmm. Is that a lot? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 times 3. Yep, that'll do, pig. Wait, do I have an Eldrazi in here? I have a Kozilek in my deck, don't I? Oh, the Kozilek is in the deck, my dudes. Then he waddled away, waddle, waddle, waddle. Keep shuffling in, do, 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 do. 
Oh, they're going to have tendrils too, but it was fun while it lasted. Staying in, you big beautiful bastard. <clears throat> Barzoople, my dudes. <laughs> That's fantastic, man. Holy Jesus. <sighs> yeah. I don't unfortunately we don't have many good storm cards, anti storm cards. Wow, dude. That was Jesus God. That guy had a family. I'm gonna brain freeze you. All right, man. Good luck. Have fun. Good luck. We're gonna take this out. We're gonna take mortars out. We'll bring in relic order. It's not gonna do anything, right? Unexpectedly absent. Do you do anything? It's a non-land permanent, right? <clears throat> Selfless Spirit just might be a better beater. Silverblade Paladin might just be better than, like, Oblivion Ring. Winds of Abandon. Like, we're just probably bringing in, like, a bunch of creatures, I guess. I guess Battleseer Sneak Attack is still pretty decent. I mean, Thundermall is just better than Angel in this matchup, I bet. Yep, I'll just see if this does it. Oh, man, what if they don't have tendrils, dude? Can you imagine? I'm going to keep this hand. It's triple Gideons. We need a white source, but... <clears throat> Wow, that was that was amazing. Even if we lose this match, like it was all worth it. Maximum barzuples. Well, that's pretty good. And next we get to go Gideon, <clears throat> followed by Gideon, followed by Gideon. The Gideon Fecta, my dudes. Where were you last turn? You would have been great. Next time we could attack with Mutavolt, gain two. I think if they're if their plan is to uh, brain freeze us and we don't have um, cause like in hand, then like. We might just want to gain our, get our life total as high as possible to avoid tendrils. <coughs> My god. What a... What a time to be alive. One, two, three, four. Gideon. Make a night sea. Target this guy for uh, no value. We'll give him indestructible. Draw a card. You got it. So next time we get to attack for like a bajillion, right? This is five, four, four, nine. This is eleven, <clears throat> and they're at one. I don't know, man. Yep. Eight cards, but you got Lion's Eye Diamond, so. Turn it 
turn about. <clears throat> you net a mana here? Sure. Is there only hope that I have Kozlek in my hand? Or do they have tendrils? I guess we'll find out. <clears throat> oh, empty the horns for three? <clears throat> oh man, my dude. My poor dude. It's not bad. Let's plus you. Let's give you lifelink, my dude. <clears throat> So Frank and Chad, I've managed to finagle my way into an awkward position. I got a call about a job I applied for even though I didn't feel qualified. And I never wanted to turn down a chance, but then the interview went great. And now they want me to come in and meet the team and spend a morning observing them. And I still don't think I'm only really qualified. And I have no idea how I got... Dude, do it. <clears throat> do it. I think you're probably qualified and you're just uh, underestimating yourself during... Gotta attack my Gideon. My Gideon tribal deck, my dudes. Alright, well. Get her done, I guess. Next turn we can sword and equip. That's pretty good, and their goblins have to attack my big Gideon. Yeah, I think you'd be surprised how many people learn on the job. <clears throat> you guys ever seen this many Gideons? This is like the Goldilocks of Gideons. I mean, they have seven, eight cards in hand. Like, if they can't kill me, then... I can barely pilot Storm. It's true. Well... We saw Empty and we saw Brain Freeze. Let's see if they do have the Tendrils, I guess. And they can Tendrils us for 13. Thwok, you're the second in command of a non-profit non -profit food pantry? That's amazing, dude. That's super cool, man. <clears throat> That's fucking awesome, dude. I just wish it was paid and the ultimate boss wasn't my mother. Nice. Oh, see, that doesn't count because she's just like, well, I'll let my son do it, I guess. He's not even my favorite son. Gamma Set's my favorite. <clears throat> They're really tanking here. They have to have a storm count of 13 and tendrils. Or they have to hope... Oh, are they just emptying the warrens here? This is really interesting. Yep. Wow, look at your hand. Sure. I'm an ICU nurse and so many doctors. Yeah, I think it's impossible to be, like, to be fully, fully, fully qualified for a job. Like, it's just, jobs are hard, man. I know that sounds silly, but, like, if you think about it, like, there's so many things, there's so many aspects to every job that you just can't, like, there's no storm count. You're not missing anything. It doesn't say storm count Thank here. Thank you. Oh, Tori Shadow, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Two years, man. Really appreciate it. Yeah, for those, uh, for those curious, there's no, oh, now the storm count's five. <clears throat> Interesting. 
Here, I'll just turn this off for now. <clears throat> yep, turnabout. So we're just hoping they don't have tendrils in the deck, I guess. And that they are banking on us having... Cause luck in hand. I mean, I guess they could just play empty the Warrens too, right? But then we have Gideon out, so like they next turn they just have to attack Gideon for a million, and then we get to swing back and kill them, most likely. I don't know. <clears throat> Magic's hard, man. I guess it'd be like, do you have tendrils? If you show it to me, I will concede, my dude. Alright. Man, that caused like brain freeze was just a legit. <clears throat> I think this is it. This is just like, I hope it's in your hand. It's not. Oh, they only have one card in hand, and they have no responses in the graveyard. So they're actually just doing this to, to find out, and then they're going to empty the Warrens afterwards. So that's fine. They empty for 22, but then, like, we have Gideon, so. We'll see if that's good enough. Okay. You got it. Oh, they're at eight, so they just... Oh, Ancestral? Them so oh, okay, they're just playing off the top now? I mean, they could have Tendrils. They don't have any black mana left. Okay, so they're just emptying the Warrens. Like, we get to go untap Gideon. You have to attack Gideon with everything, and then we kill you, right? Because now you're at seven. Sure. The Kozilek is in my deck, my dudes. <laughs> yep. Um, <clears throat> so... Alright, make you attack here. Just... Do you just get rid of this? You I mean look at the top. Sacrifice 10 Alan Parents, each opponent loses 10 life. Yeah, we're just getting rid of that, right? <clears throat> so you can sacrifice your guys, we'll go to 15, but having Gideon on the board is. I think they just conceded. <laughs> oh man. <clears throat> the double brain brain freeze into double Kozilek. I'm gonna open this treasure chest like we do. <clears throat> Let me turn on the sponsor back. And um yeah, that was good times. That was good times. Yes, open one of these. Oh, an Hypocrisite and a Sages of the Anima and five. Five play points. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a great, have a great whatever it is. Whatever time it is you're watching this. And I'll see you later. Thanks a lot for watching. Really appreciate it.